Hey, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Beamer. Welcome to Earnings Call. I'm the senior investment strategist over at EWOTrader.com. And on this show, we talk about earnings each and every week. And not just talk about earnings, we show and talk about how to profit on stocks that declare earnings. Last week, we had Shopify as our trade of the week. And boy, did Shopify deliver 131% return on risk in just two days. That's amazing. All right, that we call that a home run trade. Anything that's triple digits or better is a home run trade. So this week we're tracking over 200 stocks. 65 are on our watch list. And we're talking about companies like Lowe's, Walmart, NVIDIA, Target, and others. So sit back, relax, watch our show, and let's get started. So each and every week we talk about earnings and we're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you my earnings sheet for the week. And this is all, the, well, a majority of the big stocks that I focus on each and every week. And I got these divided up with what we call breakout stocks on the left, quiet stocks on the right. And let's get into what I mean by each of these. So I'm going to start with the quiet stocks. Okay. So let me give you an example of what a quiet stock is. All right. Here's Yum Brands. All right. Now I have what you're seeing here is don't pay attention to the squares, just pay attention to the vertical lines that identifies the past earnings. And then the horizontal lines that, def that defines how this stock has been trading in a range. So this stock has been trading in a range for well over a year now. Okay. And then you can see the little circles here are identifying the earnings along with the vertical line. And as it states here, Young Brands has an average move of less than 4% around earnings, okay? So this qualifies as a quiet stock. Now, we're, no, Yum Brands is not on our list for this week. This is just an example of what we look for in a quiet stock. So when we trade a quiet stock, what we're looking to do is take advantage of something called high implied volatility in the options, and we're selling premium through two different, uh, usually two different strategies, either an iron condor, a butterfly, one of those two is usually on our list um, as we trade around earnings. So let's get into our quiet stock list for the week. All right. We see here that we have um, Lowe's, Walmart, NVIDIA. Let's look at the chart and talk about these stocks for just a moment. Let's take a look at my chart and we're going to begin with Lowe's companies. You can see here that Lowe's has their earnings scheduled for November 18th. Okay. That's tomorrow, Tuesday, November 18th before market open. Okay, so before market open, Lowe's is going to declare, and this stock has an historical move of under 4%. And you can see here that back on the previous move, uh, previous earnings back in August, the stock did just that. Okay, right on earnings for two days, it consolidated after earnings. And how we profit on that is that when we do our iron condor, for example, that implied volatility crushes, and that's how we make money on the stock. We can buy it back for less than we sold it. And believe it or not, this move right here on Friday, the 23rd of August, believe it or not, that's just a 4% move. And we were already out of the trade. So not only does the stock move around 4% through earnings, even on a big day for the stock, it can't move on an unrelated event. All right. So now let's take a look at Walmart. Walmart, big retailer, also has earnings this week. Their earnings are on Tuesday, the 19th of, of, of November. Uh, before market open as well. Um, the historical move here has crept up to about 8%. So this is on our quiet list because it's under 10%, under double digits. All right, as you can see, Walmart has had an incredible run. But look at the last time. Last time we were looking at a less than 7% move for Walmart back in August and the stock closed. Look at that gap. It looks scary, right? Well, that was only a 6.5% move through earnings. And so with implied volatility, if we can maybe put our break-evens of our trade at 10% wide and the stock only moves six, that's a profitable trade for us, all right? So we'll be looking at Walmart this week as a quiet candidate because of a, of a move less than 10%, not really a big thing. But the, the earnings this week that everybody is focused on is NVIDIA, all right? So let's talk about NVIDIA for just a moment. Believe it or not, NVIDIA is on our quiet list, all right? It has um, a, a move of around nine and a half percent. So it's right there at that 10 percent. 
And interestingly enough, because NVIDIA um, has, you know, the big buildup that we're hearing, this could actually move this week greater than 10%. So personally, I would be very careful trading uh, around this that maybe a big breakout move you, you might not be able to make money on. And maybe the consolidation move, you may maybe not be able to make money there either. It is on our quiet list, but again, it's right there at that 10% number. And I'm, I'm just wondering if it's going to make a bigger move just from what people are expecting from AI and, and especially NVIDIA right now. So they declare on Wednesday, the 20th, um, after market close. So this Wednesday, November 20th, after market close, we will see what NVIDIA um, has in store for us. And of course, that could be a market mover. That could affect the NASDAQ. And um, and the performance there. All right. So that is our uh, just a few stocks off of our quiet list um, this week. If you like the content that we are providing here, and the again, these are live trades that we're kind of showing you each and every week, and the opportunities. Please like and subscribe to our channel because I deliver them every week to you. Let's get into our breakout stocks. Let me give you an example of what a breakout stock is. Here is Shopify. All right. Um, and make no bones about it, Shopify is a mover, all right? This thing moves um, around 17% around earnings, and we call this a breakout stock, okay? So when we price out a trade, if we can get, say, a straddle or a strangle, those are the, the two type of strategies that we use when we're looking at a potential breakout, all right? We look for anything, if I can get, um, the uh, break the break evens of my trade around ten percent on a stock that historically moves seventeen percent. That gives me an edge as a trader, and I love that opportunity. All right, we'll talk about Shopify more in here here in just a moment. You know, so stay with us because I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here on on um, on it. You know, as we talk about Shopify, but let's get into our breakout stocks for the week. All right. Um, here is our list of breakout stocks. Uh, we had a couple today. You know, you see stocks on this list like Target, uh, William Sonoma, and Pinduo Duo. Let's talk about these in more detail here. Uh, Target will have earnings on Wednesday, November 20th, before market open. Uh, this has a historical move average of greater than 14%, believe it or not. Target is a potential mover. And if you look back at some of these moves uh, back in August, we were uh, forecasting uh, a move of about 11% and the stock delivered. It, it was well up over um, over 11%. So um, it uh, it did just that. I think that was a 16% move if I'm not, rem uh, if I remember correctly. Um, I did, I'm sorry, I don't have it listed there, but um, that's what we're expecting. And I love this consolidation pattern here, okay? We're churning right, just very quiet right now, anticipating the earnings announcement. Then we expect the big pop, all right? Now, also on our list is William Sonoma, all right? Now, this has, believe it or not, a um, historical move greater than 10%, in fact, greater than 11%. So it's on our breakout list, but I want to show you kind of what to expect. In fact, if you look at this this past earnings announcement back here, this big, uh, let me put my little ellipse on here, this, this big move right here, right there, that big candle right there, um, that is the potential move that you can have. This thing ended up down 10% after gapping up almost 10% on the day. So over a 20% intraday move. And that's what we're kind of expecting from William Sonoma is a double digit move uh, going into earnings for this week. All right. And then the other stock that we're looking at right now on our list is Pin Duo Duo. The symbol is PDD. And take a look at this stock. This stock bounces around better than a ball. All right. It moves around up. Look at this. It touched 155 here recently and not less than a month. Look at this. Beginning of September, this stock was at $90. By the end of September, early October, it was at 150, and now it's down at 117. Love the volatility of this stock. We are looking at a move greater than 17% around earnings. I love the fact that, yes, it's dropped just a little bit here, 
but compared to what this stock usually does, uh, this is considered consolidation for a stock like Penduoduo, and it will declare on Thursday, November 21st, before market open. And remember, we look at doing straddles or strangles for these types of breakout stocks. All right. So in recap here, let's look at our uh, chart once again. And some other uh, stocks of note, um, you know, I like keeping an eye on NTAP, NTAP. Uh, John Deere is on Thursday. Um, it can be a potential market mover, even though it's a quiet stock. Okay, we anticipate less than a ten percent move for John Deere, and believe it or not, we expect a less than a ten percent move for Intuit as well. Another stock that back up the list on Wednesday that I like looking at is TJX. Okay, uh, this is a, a stock that we like on a regular basis is TJX, and it is on our quiet list. For the, so for those stocks. Um, TJX, John Deere, and Intuit I would be looking for consolidation moves and looking for to sell premium as we go into earnings. Now, remember, like and subscribe. We get these each and every week. And better yet, there is a chapter feature on our page. You can jump along in the chapter feature to listen to the stocks as we talk about them each and every week. Love that feature. Sometimes I like just jumping ahead and seeing where we um, where we are. Speaking of jumping ahead, let's take a look at our um, at our trade from last week. Remember, I mentioned Shopify, gave that example as a breakout stock. That is the stock that we were looking at last week. We did a strangle on the stock. Our debit for that strangle was a little over nine hundred dollars. All right, and we were anticipating, even though the stock had already started to break out, as you see on the chart there. Stock had already started to move. Uh, we uh, applied this trade because we were expecting a big move with the earnings announcement. Honestly, I thought maybe the stock would move down after earnings. After that move higher, okay, uh, buy on the rumor, sell on the news type of thing. But no, let's look at the results. The stock absolutely exploded for one of their biggest one-day move um, that they've ever had. The stock was up over 20% on the day. And the next day, not only could you have profited on that big breakout, we closed it out the next day, okay, for essentially a two-day move that returned a whopping $1,268, which is a 131% return on our risk in just two days. That is the power of these breakout stocks. What's the power of a consolidation stock? Just consistent income on a regular basis, okay? A few percentage points each and every week, but these, these we look for big returns and that's exactly what we got from Shopify, which was our trade of the week last week. So what do we have in store for this week? Well, I've already talked about that stock and that would be Penduo Duo, all right? PDD is the symbol for this particular stock. Again, a uh, Penduo Duo will have um, earnings on Thursday, November 21st. We are looking at a strangle here, okay? A strangle is two different strikes with a, uh, a call and a put, two different strike prices with the same expiration date, okay? We are looking at a debit here of just under $1,000, about 900 and change, actually very similar to Shopify. You can see the stock consolidating a little bit right now. And we are looking for one of those big moves that you see in the past, all right? Because Penduo Duo can deliver, and we expect that same volatility going into earnings this week. So this is the opportunity here uh, for our trade of the week this week. So in summary, that's our list for this week. We do this each and every week right here. Please like and subscribe, as I mentioned. We hope to see you again next week. Everyone have a great trading week, and we will talk to you again soon. Take care.